I was on the third floor. There were guards keeping watch on the whole level. But these were not your run-of-the-mill guards. They were Japanese mercenaries. Were they also tougher than normal guards? No way. On the contrary, they were weaker. One punch and down they went. But these Japanese mercs were damn perceptive due to special training they received. Their unique awareness was twice that of a normal guard, an angle of 180 degrees. Getting close to them unnoticed was impossible if you weren't behind their back. Hey, a coin! something. I heard something. something. Hey, a coin! heard something. Thank you. 
Takuma Takagashi, Great Japanese Samurai Warrior, Guardian of General X. If you're the boss of those assholes, know that they couldn't take two punches. You insult Japanese culture, you die by my katana. Really? I'm going to show you what I think about your damn karate.
show great courage in combat. To fight you has been great honor. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, baby. Boss defeated. <laughs> Hey, Mike! Fuck! You scared me! Mike? Yeah, it's me. I heard about how you kicked Marcuson's ass. Son of a bitch, he deserved it. What are you doing here, Mike? Well, after I finished repairing those lasers, they decided I had to come here and fix more stuff. Wasn't it your night off? Yep, just another night working for a bunch of damn extortionists. What brings you here, Mike? Need some help? Nah, I'm going to the rooftop. Almost there. Just take an elevator up a floor. I know, I was just exploring a little. Anyway, if you need any help, come see me. I'll be around. Thanks, Mike. See you later. Yep, toodaloo. finally went out to the rooftop. As I stepped out, I observed details that would be missed by mere amateurs. But to a trained eye like mine, nothing ever goes unnoticed. First off, there was a communication antenna to my right. Right? You mean on the left? I was looking south, so your left is my right. Of course. Continue. Another key detail. There were four guards. And they were smoking. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Hands up. You have no fucking idea who I am, do you? Who the hell are you, scumbag? I'm the man who's going to shove my boot in your asses so deep that you'll all be shitting leather for a month. I'm the fucking work inspector. Military internal affairs. What? So, how the fuck is it possible that a goddamn gentleman like me, dressed as a mere civilian, freely strolled around the whole fucking building? I'll tell you how. Because some inept guards decided that instead of being at their posts, they slithered up to the rooftop to hide smoke and spew scum. It's our five minutes off, sir. Are you kidding me, soldier? No, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Mike, sir. Listen to me carefully, scumbag Mike. I've been sent by the general himself. He is pissed off with all the soldiers in this building, and I have his permission to ensure each one of you are pissed on. I just have to make a little fucking check mark, and your precious fucking leave is a never-ending hell of cleaning latrines and wiping piss. So, don't piss me off. Do I make myself clear, scumbag Mike? C -c Crystal clear, sir. Chatting here, blah, blah, blah. Gossiping like schoolgirls. You disgust me. Fuck, 
Imagine if I was a spy or a prisoner who managed to obtain critical information, and I was pretending to be a work inspector in order to steal a helicopter and escape. What do you think would happen, scumbag Mike? Sir, it would be a non-authorized takeoff, and it would be shot down by the surface-to-air missiles. And you think he couldn't avoid it? Only if he disabled the communication with the missiles, sir. I see. And how would he do that? Sir, disabling the communication antenna that communicates with all surface-to-air missile batteries. And then he just gets away. What kind of shitty security is that? That's it. This is all going into my report. Heads are going to roll. Please, sir, don't rescind our leave. We have children waiting for us. Fuck. You have children and you're smoking? You call yourself a father scumbag, Mike? I have good reason to keep you from your kids. No, please. I'll give up smoking. I swear to God. Swear to me. I swear. I swear. I'm magnanimous. I will turn a blind eye to this indecency. But the day you hold another cigarette will be your last. Thank you, sir. Take a look at this floor. It's littered of cigarette butts, you pigs. Have you been tossing these without putting them out? You'll burn the building down. Not to mention the pollution. And what happens if a passing child gets burnt from these? Fucking swine. Lean down, little piggies, and collect all these cigarette butts with your mouths now. Yes, sir. You too, asshole. Yes, sir. Now, get out of here and go back to your posts. Yes, sir. Here it was, the antenna. I searched for wires to cut. Good news, I found some wires. Bad news, I found something else behind them. What, Mr. Fox? A bomb. A bomb in a communication antenna? Exactly. I thought someone before me placed it there to sabotage the tower. And that person was captured or killed before he could set off the bomb. However, a label adjacent to the bomb solved the enigma. It read, Communication Antenna Sparky SGL-65B Anti-Vandalism System. Anti-Personnel Bomb Explode If Person Attempt Cut Antenna Signal. Explosion will not affect structure, but shrapnel eject outside literally destroy any person nearby. Hmm, interesting. Sergeant, do we have anything similar on base? No, Lieutenant, but we can request for one. Well, continue with your farce, Mr. Fox. The label continued. For emergency purpose, disconnect antenna. Prevent explosion by follow KGS-185-U protocol. And what the hell is that protocol? The KGS-185-U protocol. I didn't figure it out at first, but it turns out that I had read that name before. I used the bolt cutter to cut the...
I use the bolt cutter to cut the... I use the bolt cutter to cut the... There it was, the helicopter I eventually escaped in, only to have you inevitably shoot it down. But fuck, if I flew away, the surface to air defenses would shoot me down. I had to disable that communication antenna so they wouldn't receive the command to fire. This would, instead, provide you the pleasure to take me down yourselves, you bastards. <laughs> I use the wire with clamps to connect the with the I use the wire with clamps to connect the with the I use the wire with clamps to connect the with the
I use the bolt cutter to cut the... I use the bolt cutter to cut the... I use the bolt cutter to cut the... Done. The antenna was out of action. The surface to air defenses would never activate if I hit the skies. Now, I could finally get that damn helicopter and escape. There it was, the helicopter I eventually escaped in, only to have you inevitably shoot it down. But fuck, I didn't have the damn key. I needed it to get the door open. chopper yet? Found a helicopter, but I don't have the key. Can't you hotwire it? I can't even open the outer door. Work your magic with the radio. Maybe you can hear something useful. No problem. Let's see if a guard can be tricked into telling where a spare key is. Thanks, friend. Jesse here. Over. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Cuts. Jesse here. Over. Mr. Fox, my daughter is still not responding. I'm sure she's fine. By the way, do you know where I can find a key? She's fine? My daughter is not replying. Hoffman was too obsessed with his daughter. I had to find someone less stressed and ask about the helicopter key. Where's your assistant? He's working. I see you use the anti-rad suit. I need the key to the helicopter on the rooftop. I, I, I don't know where it is. I've never flown one. I swear. He was right. Why would a scientist know where the helicopter keys are kept? If I was to find out, it would have to involve asking someone else in the building.
Mike, how did they bring you here? In a helicopter, like everyone else. Everyone but me? Mike, I'm looking for the key to that helicopter. Well, General X probably has it in his office. Is it far? You're right in front of him. That door? Yes. Fuck, finally some luck. But. But? What? Only General X can open it. Shit. Can't you use your magic? Nope. There has to be a way to get in there. A uh, back door or something. Come on, Mike, think. Hmm, wait. His office might have another entrance. A while ago, I was studying the map of this building, and I saw something weird. Weird? What was weird? The office has a private elevator that leads to the basement. I always wondered why he wanted an unlocked private elevator. So you could take the main elevator to the basement and go through there to General Lex's private elevator? Yep. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to the basement. Mike, wait. The basement is a fucking maze. Take this map with you. You'll need it to get through safely. I answered the call before leaving. Hey, Fox, weren't you searching for a helicopter key? Fuck yeah. You have it yet? Not yet, but I believe General X has one in his office. Why? Because I heard some talk on the radio. They're keeping a copy of that key in a special room. It's somewhere close to General X's office, through a private lift. Don't know what room it is or where, but I know the door is marked with an X. A door marked with an X? Yeah, man. Fucking weird. Thanks, Robert. If I don't find the key in his office, I'll look for that room. Wish to enter the labyrinth. Then say friend in Elvish, and the door will open. Friend in Elvish? Shit. Turns out the mental patient was a fucking Lord of the Rings geek. What person in their right mind knows how to say friend in Elvish? Well, I don't know the word. Can you give me a hint? I'm afraid I can't grant any assistance to this enigma. What if I grant you a punch in the face? Uh, uh, fruit. Big, sweet. You eat it in the summer? Watermelon? It lacks water. Melon? I reached the first intersection. It had three exits. North, east, and west. I checked the map. The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. I found an old rusted sword. A thousand years ago, it could have been of use. But this was current year, so I tossed it. I reached the second intersection. It also had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map a second time. The second letter was also an E, so I took the east path. I would make an effort to check the map at every intersection as I proceeded.
something odd about that wall. I found a suspicious brick that smelled like turkey. I pushed it and... I entered the secret door and left those dungeons behind. Ahead of me was a less dank portion of the basement. According to Mike, there had to be an elevator somewhere that went to General X's office, which should ultimately hold the original helicopter key. On the other hand, Robert told me that he heard of a special room with an X on its door, which could alternatively hold a copy of that key. Either option was fine as long as I could get a hold of a damn working key. And thus, my search of the basement began.